there's a, a friend of mine, um, this uh, woman named Delilah, she's a radio personality out of Seattle, and, and uh, we went to um, Ghana, Africa together, and she's adopted many kids, and one of the kids that she was in the process of adopting, I got to meet while I was there, and uh, his name was Samuel, and uh, he was about 13, and he had lived his entire life in an orphanage, and he had never been outside of the orphanage walls. And uh, while we were there, I got to uh, be with him, and, and he came out. They, they gave her permission to take him out with us on, on the bus and to all the places that we were going, and uh, he got to experience swimming in the swimming pool of the hotel we were at and uh, for the first time ever doing that. And, um, and that was a really neat experience. Um, and so I got to know him a little bit. I got a lot of footage of him uh, on camera. And and, um, and then finally, uh, within, I think it was six months after that, uh, the adoption process went through, and she was able to uh, go and get him and bring him back to the States. And um, he uh, was diagnosed with, I don't remember what the disease is now, but um, she knew when she adopted him that he had it. Um, but uh, anyways, within a year of being in the United States, he passed away. And um, he told her one night, um, on his, one of the last days that he was alive uh, in the hospital, um, she asked him, you know, what was your, what's, your, what's been your biggest fear in life? And he said, I, um, my biggest fear was that I would die and no one would ever have ever loved me or known me. And um, that was like, for me, when I heard that story, that was the culmination of, of what I think we're all after, you know. Um, and, you know, he got to experience that for, even if it was only for a year um, of his life, he, you know, she, she will make sure that he was known um, and remembered. Uh, so that's a... That was a very powerful story for me.